Young boy just needs something to be mad at, bro. That's how you get superpowers. At this point, bro, because what the fuck are you even talking about? Well, I be maneuvering the fuck out this on and off switch. I turn that again. I be looking at the thing. I'm like, oh, no sound? I'm like, damn. F- <clears throat> well, at least we got our first technical, or our only technical problem out of the way early. Ain't got to worry about it later on. My sh- fell off before the, um, the, the camera even started. And on that note, welcome back to the Girl This Podcast. The first one since the Sunday live stream, which like a hundred and twenty some people, one hundred nineteen. Yeah, that night I think it was a one twenty nine, right? One twenty one, one twenty nine. Like I that. know it's an odd number. Is that like two fifty six or some shit? Now, yeah, it's over two. It's almost close to you. three. Did not see that coming. He said one. The little this this Gino after this Gino after the shit that motherfucker said. One hundred. <laughs> <laughs> that was a hundred people, right? He was a hype as soon as that bitch hit. I think it was a, it was a like fifty or some shit like that. He I was, was like, Yo, fifty he people said, in here, bro. Yeah, that shit. Because I think I think it was what like concurrent. It was what like thirty eight. Hurt hot, shit. yeah, hot thirties. Pretty much the entire time, like all. I would have been happy with that. Hell yeah, that shit dope. And I imagine one day it's gonna be hundreds of people like watching that shit. That shit gonna be fun. So for context, it's like. Every one of y'all watching, plus like y'all cousins, it was a lot of people. All twenty of y'all last. Uh, I was like, shout out to God, shout out to uh, simply, uh, shout out to simply y'all, di- uh, divine, yeah, divine, simply, simply divine. divine was that there. Was, the, yeah, was Sean, that both Sean was there? Huh? Big hurt donated ten, and someone donated four twenty. Ooh, I don't give a fuck. I look that shit up right now. What my oh uh, God, we what? Well, it's easy. Yeah, bleep skeep. <laughs> Oh God, that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think who the fuck donated that shit. But yeah, why Gino go do that? Look, yeah, somebody had donated. Literally, somebody. I mean, we don't get on there for the money or nothing like that. Like, of course, we want to get paid off this stuff, but we don't want to get paid through you guys. We don't want to get paid through like tips and stuff like that. It's cool and stuff. That shit is great. That's insane, and it just invests all back into itself. But it's not like we want our subscribers to carry us to being millionaires. No, we would like YouTube to pay us, right? Not you two to pay us. YouTube. So we wanted to check from YouTube, not y'all, but we do appreciate the tips. Like, that is, like, mind-blowing, and it's just insane to see that people want to donate. And I be trying not to do the whole hand movement shit, but I was editing the video, y'all, and I just can't. I know somebody said, uh, see, I'm over here fighting the urge not to do it now, but I know somebody was talking about how I be moving my hands. They're like, why do people do sign language? I'm like, that's not sign language. Like, don't be disrespecting fucking people that do sign. Like, the fuck? It's just hand movement. Before the end of the video... Matter of fact, go to YouTube. I don't know why I just did all that. I'm gonna put you up on the screen. All right. So when he told me we're doing a live, I'm thinking, be honest with you, it was gonna be 16 people that we're just gonna talk about growing all day. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. If that's what we gotta do. That's what we gotta do. But it was way different. Like we telling stories. We getting hot. It's different because on here we're not smoking and shit. But on there. We drinking and smoking, so the stories just roll. I'm telling stories about like almost getting locked up for smoking in the wrong places, like a dickhead. You want to see that? Go to Deuce of Farms. Go to the live category. It was the last live stream. I'm in the thumbnail. He in the thumbnail. You can't miss it. Welcome back, guys. Hell uh, yeah! So- Oxygen back in my lungs and all that. And uh, we got the names for you now. We're so putting that- them up now. So shout out to Big Hurt. He donated ten. We had a uh, Grow for Broke, which is also another YouTuber. I knew it was, I felt like it was a YouTuber in my head. I just couldn't remember. I remember announcing it. But go check out his channel. He's a little over 300 subs. So check out his channel. He did, Ironically, he donated 420. So shout out to him. He said, real, recognize, real. And then and that, that was it for that. But recognize. to recognize everybody else that's done that so far, we'll just quickly announce Jiminy Cricket. Talk to him on the daily. It's your boy Hydro. Uh, Justin Cook. Free Smoke Grows. Also another YouTuber. Um... Norm, Norm McGee, shout out Norm McGee, talk to him on the regular, and then Jiminy Cricket again. So shout out to all them people. I appreciate all y'all. Like We really G-O-G. do appreciate that shit. And we're going to definitely be doing a lot more live. Like the kind of the, the session is kind of like, it's the happy medium between like the growing and this. I feel like it kind of allows us to like, mm-hmm. it gives us that freedom. It's really just chilling. It's, it's like, because we know we don't have to edit it after. Only thing we have to do is watch what we say. Yeah, while for the we, first 10 minutes. While we on, Which, not even just for the t- first 10 minutes, because you know the stories. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I could have yeah. easily sit and be like, fuck. Yeah. Cut the camera. Or, or you say the wrong. Yeah. You, but you, now, nah, it, it was cool. I enjoyed that more than the podcast. For just sure. Because there was people, like, we would count, like, they were leaving it's in the chat. active. Like, once we do this live, like, when we have, like, another person to moderate, uh, like, in real life, like, help us out. 
then definitely this, uh, this podcast will be live, which that's cool. We want to be able to interact with the chat. I found that that's like, that's like the best part about it all. Like the chat kind of drive the whole thing because you could be talking about one thing. They say no. Motherfucker like, hey, worst but uh, high story or some shit. Yeah, and I would love to. I love to answer your questions. That's what they asked me. They asked, me, they asked us what was um our best and worst buzz stories or something like that. I think I only said, like, I guess the one of the worst. But we have a lot. Like, that's the thing. Yeah. We done. I didn't even talk years. about that Virginia. Well, I talked about the Virginia one on here. Yeah, we talked about yeah, we that. Yeah, talked about the Virginia one on here. But uh, what, okay. we got so much more. That's the shit. You know what's crazy? Just think of, yeah, that is something. Think of uh, your best. Now, think of your best, which I don't, I'm, I got one that my comes best in my high? mind. Or just your best, like, East, or I guess overall experience, whether it be the high, just the events that happened. If it's the best high I had, it was, some, it was in high school. Sorry. Ooh. Sorry, Grandma. And, uh. <laughs> If we talking about the best weed experience, it was in D.C. on my boy Glacier. Okay, okay. Mine. Shout out to my other D.C. partner. <laughs> so, yeah, because it was that, that you said the experience for that one, right? Yeah. It was just like everything that led up to it. Matter of fact, we were supposed to talk about that on the podcast. We said we was going to wait, we we wait for him. We said we was going to wait for him. No, okay. You, that's you, you was, announced that's it the next episode. You yeah, said we were going to wait right, for right. him. Um, yeah, I, I don't. See, that's like a hard one for me. Like, I could think of the worst because that's just like when you were miserable. But like the best, it's like, damn, me, I would say the experience. Uh, don't just think of you being the miserable because of you were miserable because of what you had going on. Think about the actual high itself. Yeah, you yeah, were yeah. in the right state of mind. Yeah. would have been great. I'm I'm going I'm to think about the events. I'm I'm going to name one like an event and then one high. Like one like it was the high. that was, It was just the high overall. But the event, I'll say there was one time just – it being cannabis related in general, um, I had I was selling whatever like that back in high school allegedly, allegedly. um, but yeah, definitely gotta say allegedly. That's that's Statue a wild story. I do want to tell the story. Actually, let me I'll dive into that story real quick because that shit wild. Yeah, we definitely saying allegedly on that because I forgot everything that I had. Man, I had fucking wire under my mailbox. Yeah, shit was wild. Yeah, yeah, the plot thickens. That shit was wild. Thickens. All right, so I wish I knew which button I wanted to. Bro, that's exactly, that's exactly the button yeah. I wanted to press. It, it's lit. <laughs> Start out. Go All ahead. All right, so boom, I'm selling in high school and shit like that. All allegedly, y'all just hypocritical for speaking. Hypothetical, <laughs> but we'll take that too. It's all. It was just a dream. So literally that. This is actually he rapping right now. Exactly. About and this is this is without like rhyme. based on a character. That he uh, made up while he was I'll be playing shit. way too much GTA, bro. That should be lit. A whole lot of that. All the cheat codes. But, so I'm in high school and shit. Senior year, I'm selling. Uh, I'm selling I'm selling and shit like that. Like, I think I kind of already told, like, the story, like, how it led up. Pretty much I just, you know, kept grabbing and reading up until I had, got, like, a large amount. And I was, like, actively, like, selling. But I wasn't selling to where it was, like, I wasn't selling in bulk. I had plenty of people hit me up, like, hey, let me get an ounce. Let me get a QP. I'm like, hell nah, because you want a deal. To me, it's like, you want an ounce? Man, I had some, my homeboys off rip, you know what I'm saying? My homeboys, it's like, because if it was them the other way around, I wouldn't even ask them. I'm like, how much? I'm going to automatically assume for an ounce is $280. It's 28 grams an ounce, right? I'm going to automatically assume that because I'm a fair-ass nigga, I feel like. And I'm like, I'm going to give him, but he may want more. And I'm, I'll am respect that. I'm like, all right, you want more? All right, that's cool. I'm going to... What can I get for two hundred eighty? Because I, ain't, you know what I'm saying, like I ain't paying them. But I was just like, I'm gonna pay like face value for the shit, like all the way throughout. No, I'm not looking for the discounts. But that's, you know, what I'm saying that's like small weight stuff like that. But if I'm buying from the plug, it's I want, okay. I want the discount. He sells, he sold, allegedly sold weed, like how people sold crack. He was just trying to make every dollar he could. Oh God, yeah. And because you, you would get just, the- just real quick before you continue in the story. You don't really think like that no more. You know, Deuce of Fines will cut deals when we are white label and all that. <laughs> but nah, but yeah. Yes, so back then, it was just like, it's it's kind of like, I mean, back then, dispensaries weren't a thing. But, well, shit, maybe in Cali, but they, it's just, <laughs> that motherfucker freestyle. I'm not doing it no more. Fuck yeah, it. that shit do be fun. But we, it was just like getting it, selling it, whatever. And like I said, have people asking me, they like, hey, let me get this. I'm like, Face value, they but how much is it? I'm like shit. How many grams in the ounce? They be like twenty eight. I'm like shit. Do the math for me, bro. I'm like I love you to death, but he you was know busting their head. I would not do you that way. You know what I'm saying? Because because what I would do is I would get a pound, right? What four or four hundred and forty eight grams? 
I'm, I'm expecting 4,448. Oh, 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 I'm glad you said that. I saw on Instagram today. Apparently, there's like a discussion. I don't know where it came from. Or what? They think there are some people that think an ounce is different, right? Is that no, what you're a, a, a pound oh. is four hundred and fifty six or some shit like that. Okay, I, I you, saw that on Instagram today. They was literally arguing about it. Let talk about hey, how fuck we forget metrics? We forget measurements, man. Because somebody told me I'm watching a live stream one time, and this motherfucker hollered out, "I'm in a live stream with him, right? You know what yeah. I'm saying? We sitting there, I'm on live with him. I just hear this motherfucker say this. They start talking about ounces and shit, uh, and. This motherfucker said, you know, talking about an ounce, you know what, like 29.3 grams? And I, in my head, I said, nigga, what? what? Nigga, I about came through the screen and slept. I said, I just got caught. I'm just thinking, I'm like, ain't no way I just heard him say 29.3. It's like, are we tripping? Like, an ounce is 28 grams of fucking, uh, what, a pound is 16 ounces? Like, bro. And do the math what? from there. But if they doing that 29.3, maybe that's where they get that 450. 29.3, I've though? Never, I've never I heard I feel like I've shit. seen 28.3 before. But 29.3? You put an extra gram on it? For who? Another one is the liters and gallons and shit like that. Uh, yeah, that's for your lean people head. Stay saying, people, a lot of people have been saying four liters, right? I thought four a liters. gallon was 3.78, 3.79 liters. I thought it was 3.78. Yeah, it's like 3. Yeah. Point, yeah, but when it comes to measurements, like measuring like nutrients and shit like that, people be like, yeah, four. Leave in the comments, but don't worry Our, about it. I'm going to leave you a little cheat code. One zip 28, two zips 56, four zips 112, four quarter p four four quarter pounds 448 exactly but if you get 456 or whatever please let me know how you get it because maybe I i'm wrong you, maybe I'm a, somebody owed me pim, some money pim das might have been not been pim das <laughs> <I'm> t- <laughs> we might have did this shit wrong you know what i'm not even look, gonna speak look, on pim das because we're gonna be doing a call back to the slow class because i still <laughs> don't really understand what she mean by uh, Every- what the fuck is uh on sally doing that i need all these different things for me like, like please excuse so i'm like plus where the E, I don't know. I'll just be like, I didn't even know the that. real thing. I just knew, it's please like, excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Yeah, I don't know, I don't what know the, which each one. I think P is like parentheses. E is for exponent, which I can't tell you what the exponent is. It's the little number at the top, like squared and shit. Oh, okay. Is it? Yeah. That's all I got. Um, M. Multiplication? Math. Division? Okay, yeah, yeah. Division? That might be. Uh, division? Okay, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction? Yeah, oh shit, look at that. All that in one question, bro. And we just taught you how to get an ounce of 28 grams. You can't expect me to know the answer to that question. My grown ass age. But anyway, yeah, 28 is the zip that we know of. Yeah, I don't know sure. if it's different other places, but I saw that on Instagram today. I might have been might have been blacklist. If I find it, it's gonna be on the Deuce of Dozen Instagram. Cause sure. that shit. Who the fuck? What did that? Check out the Deuce of Dozen Instagram, man. That shit blowing that shit blowing up, man. That shit at that shit at a little seven piece, you know. F- fuck with the Deuce of, um you know what I'm saying? Fuck with the Deuce of Dozen YouTube channel too. We got like five forty nine. Six. We almost hit six. Almost yeah, at a man. You feel me? But uh, back to the story. Watch the videos. Put on put notification. Post hey notification. man, just make a little playlist real quick. Hey, I'm gonna give y'all some game, man. Make a little playlist, right? Put all the videos in that motherfucking, and just start watching playlists. Go to sleep and <laughs> watch all our videos. Turn the views. Up. <laughs> Real nigga activity. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, you know. Yeah. Continue. So that story. Like I said, and and like he said, like you know what I'm saying, like uh, shit's different now. Times is different now, and everything like that. Like deals and stuff like that getting cut. But at the time, the only deal that I was expecting was for my plug, and then from there, I didn't think of myself as I wasn't on that plug level yet. I wasn't on no, I'm about to go serve somebody a pound, right? Barely got that myself. You know what I'm saying? Like at first, and then having people trying to ask, I'm like, shit, nah. Like, <laughs> break it down, gram by gram, eighth by eighth, whatever, quarter by quarter. And when you say it like that, it makes it makes sense because if off the rip, you would hear it and you're like, damn, you just, he was just raping niggas on the prices. But think about it. If he was no, if you just know, like, I sell this, everything sell was, this. Okay, quick, quick, oh, quick. damn, it sounds so green. Everything was yeah. 15 a G, my bad, y'all. Everything was 15 a G and I was the only plug, I was the only, not plug, I was the only person doing for 10. So that's why, I, that, I forgot that about, too. that was a big ass Damn, that's a big ass thing. I love that. Yeah, fifteen out. a G. Remember, well, I don't, okay. I'm, let me not say remember because it depends on where you at. Yeah. But ten dollars a G is normal, like the the great price, the love price you get. Good. I got a lot of good weed back in the day for ten dollars a G and shit. So ten dollars a G does come in clutch and shit like that. As far as deals, be honest with you, when I was in high school, I wasn't even buying that much to even exactly. get the deals cut anyway. That so that saying. shit wasn't even. He wasn't talking to me. I knew Mostly. I was getting <laughs> like, and I'm feeling good. I'm like, damn, I got a lot of weed. I'm but like, I might just be like, bless me for the 25. <laughs> like, even then, when you got plug, when you got a plug, plug, like I didn't, 
You know what I'm saying? I done pulled up on my plug. I think, well, I, honestly, the last time I bought a gram was probably like when I was like 16. But we always used to go for like two Gs or something. But even if it, let's say we had to buy a G or something, allegedly, you'd always be like, oh, yeah, I got you. Because he know like these quick little tens add up. And now everybody just got a uh, fucking 280 spent on the zip. Especially nowadays because everything's out and everything. Yeah. They trying to try 400 for the zips and Ooh, shit. Yeah, that shit. And if you have a problem with what he just said, even though, you know, green from back in the days or whatever, you pay f- Seventy five dollars for the eight from a dispensary. Yeah, <laughs> he turned him on like a microphone. But but no, that that's a that's a real thing. Like I was like I always say the story. I, I literally every time I've told the story, I think I always leave that part out that it was fifteen a G. Um, which I I go on on you know on the farms. I'm gonna like really dive into the whole story. Like I left out the whole intro of it. But like I, everybody everybody else in the area is doing 15 a G. Yes, it's Florida. Yes, it's mids. We all know that Florida is mids. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not Cali. We get it, y'all. I, all my Florida people, you understand. <laughs> but at the time, we was calling it gas. For Florida, it was gas, you know? But everybody's doing 15 a G. I'm like, damn, shit. I'm going to do 10 because I can see I can still make a profit. I'm like, I'm getting a QP for what? Six, you know, like six, seven hundred, whatever at the time. So I'm like, shit. That's four, five hundred in profit. I'm like, shit. I'm cool with that selling 10. I was like, if I sell 15, I'm making even more. But see, people are bringing that logic of the 15 and G. Like, somebody will cut them a deal. Like, you buy a quarter, and then they'll give it to you for, like, 60, right? And then, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Or, no, not 60, what, 15? Nah, you get they would, they would give 60 it, for quarters. I'm, I'm talking about the people that are doing 15 and G. People that are doing oh, 15 no, hell and G, nah. they, would, like they, would, they, they would do it, like, 85, right? Mm-hmm. So, instead of paying, like, 90 or 100 bucks for the quarter off the 15 and G, they oh. felt like they was getting a deal, right, for the 85? I didn't even do the math just now. Right? How much I was 80? I don't know, but I think. It sounded good. 85 might be it for the simple fact that I've been doing drugs for a minute. I think I think that's why I just knew. I didn't yeah. even do the math. I started doing the math after I said that. It's kind of like working out when you start knowing how much plates is. Not oh, by no, the math of it. Bro, don't put not, that on there. Not by the math of it, by the, like, the uh, familiarization. You see two it. plates on each side? Yeah, that's 225, but you can't lift that. Exactly. Hold on. Let me see that bar. Yeah. That's a Texas bar, but that's 55. Get up. <laughs> Get up, brother. I can't, you can't do that. <laughs> this ain't oh, shit. Nah, continue. My bad. No, you good, bro. That shit funny as hell. But it was just like that's like that was like the norm. So I'm like, shit. If I'm selling for ten a G, I could sell that shit like outright. I don't have to worry about cutting no deals because it's like even straight out, you getting a quarter from me for seventy. You gonna go pay from the next person eighty, eighty five. So you already getting a deal by fucking with me, and it's the same exact pack. Like we all had the same plug. We all had the same big homie, right? Shout out to fucking uh Polo. Redacted. <laughs> his name, his real name ain't Polo. But we can, we can use yeah, Polo. Polo. He a white boy. But well, shut nah, up, man. It, it ain't too hard to find out. <laughs> We're on your polo. We're on the way. Nah, he changed his whole persona now. That shit fire. We on your rugby. Cool ass cat. But yeah, his ass. I said cat. Wow, I'm old. <laughs> hey, you cool cats and kittens. Jesus Christ. I'm but, just trying to talk slick so the charges don't stick. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so his ass, you know what I'm saying? Like, we all getting it from him. Most of the people, like the people I knew at least, that's where it was all coming from. But so it's like it's the exact same shit, like guarantee the same shit. But you already shopped me, so you getting it for sunny, so you can't complain about that. So motherfuckers complain, whatever. But anyways, I just kept doing that shit or whatever, and then eventually started you know getting a lot of money off of that shit, chilling. And I was like, what I was planning on doing in the future, you know what I'm saying? I was like, uh, this is how I knew I was like balling. This uh, this is how I knew I was balling. So for one, I ain't have well, I had a vehicle from my mom. But uh, I was using my dad truck. I started, like, I made a legit business. I went and got my business license and everything like that. I had a car t- detailing business with an employee. So, shout out to little man. Uh, he'll see if he's a little man with a big plan. Shout out to him. But I had an employee, right? And uh, he came He came later into it. But he needed a job because his dad was on his ass. So I said, shit, I'll hire you, bro. You can car detail with me, shit. God, like, I needed a front for making all this money. I felt like, man, I'm just Googling and shit. Like, I, yeah, yeah, right. So, boom, and that's when I just felt like I was a fucking man, which it wasn't like I was making no buku amounts, but from my circumstances where I come from, you know what I'm saying, I was make, I, if I put it into the right things and being smart with it, it would have fucking been amazing, but I just, being a kid, dumb. So, uh, that happens, and then uh, just selling constantly, um, and I didn't even like leaving the crib. I let motherfuckers first some mistakes. I let motherfuckers pull up to the crib. Well, depending on yeah, who, if I knew them. crack where you put, rest put, put them, put them, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but it was it was crazy because it's like, it's the project. So it's like, everybody's always coming to everybody's house. So it was just mm. like the norm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Screen and, doors and all that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So we get, uh, I remember I was just selling. 
out of my shit one time. And then my brother, like, once I be gone sometimes, and some people need some, I was always going out of town and shit like that. I was trying to go to the next city. I was trying to splurge. I was trying to spend my damn money, right? If I can't spend it, if I'm always stuck trying to fuck, that shit be annoying. Motherfucker, all times of the day, hit me up. It's like, hold on, man. I just told my little brother, I'm like. All right, and from that, <laughs> it, from the outside looking in. Well, Ooh, wait till I tell you how old my. Town. Oh my god, yeah. boy! What are you doing, enjoying yourself, nigga? Exactly. You supposed to be here, hey, bro. I'm finna go out of town on Saturday, so if you need something, let me know. Nigga, I don't get paid till Friday. Uh, well, damn, I might leave on Friday though, cause they say it's gonna rain Saturday. Mm-hmm. You can't be doing that. You fuck up the whole community. You fuck up the whole community like that. <laughs> Shout out to Lydia Extracts and Runs. Them niggas said they wanted a sick of chance. <laughs> they said, nah, hit it again. They still got battery. That, that shit was sitting there since last episode, I think. Yeah, I that was about a week ago. So, yeah, that shit. And then, yeah, that, that's crazy because I didn't even think about it. I didn't even think to tell people, like, hey, I'm going to be going out of town. Because I, I know a lot of people was on the Snapchat <laughs> shit, which up until recently, Snapchat, like I think a year or two ago, they started doing the police ass shit. It was deleting accounts and shit for posting weed. Mm. But now, I knew that was like everybody's getting their shit deleted. I know I a lot of that. Yeah, a lot of my people, like back home, they was always telling me, yeah, my, I had to make a new account. Like my brother made so many new accounts because he was posting weed and stuff like that. But he wasn't posting to my selling it, just regular ass picture. It could be smoke, whatever, they, the algorithm or however. The, uh, That's fucking crazy. Yeah, so they, they would be naked my people fuckers. on Snapchat. He would be out there selling pussy on Snapchat. He, putting fucking emojis over there down. I'm just trying to show you this good smoke. Exactly. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. So, I never did that. I never, like, posted or anything like that. I never, I didn't feel like, people just, god damn, it sounded like somebody outside getting their ass Somebody, somebody just got their ass boom. Yeah, it sounded like somebody moving or some shit. I heard yelling, and then I heard the thing. Oh, I ain't hear the yelling. I ain't mad. Like, I don't hear it. All right, y'all. Quick little story time, right? So, we got a neighbor, right? And uh, I don't know if I should. I ain't going to tell it. I'll tell you off camera, though, big. I already told you once, but that should be wild. I could, I could, I could try you, to. You can kind of put see. it together. All right, so we got, a, we got, some, we got some neighbors that... uh. The stereotypical neighbors, like the neighbors that um, you just know when they when they're having problems because they like to do it in public, or if they're in their their crib, they like to be loud about it. So every now and again, it's been a minute since you know it's been a minute. I give these the, no, these the white folks though. Oh, these the ones. yeah. You, I know which one you talking about. That shit was hilarious. Oh yeah, they was way worse. The ones I was talking about, they used to be out in the cops would get called constantly. And he'd be in the backyard, he'd be in the, out there in the back just throwing his phone and shit. Because I remember one night I just heard, <clears throat> and I heard something, ding, ding. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? You know, smoking. So I'm thinking like somebody out there. I'm like, <laughs> he over there throwing up. I'm sick of this bitch. I'm like, oh, hell no. Nah. And he a little ass dude, right? She could definitely beat his ass. Right, like, okay. like, I, look, I know size don't matter, but. To him, like, here, bro, just go ahead Take and go care, hey, she, We pulled up one day. We saw him in the back of the car, and she was on the outside. I don't know what happened, but, but I saw day, him. I saw him right back over here, right after. What every time, but now the dude, the police doing like a weekly checkup on their ass. Really? And we got cops that live by. That's what, us. They, that's what they get. That's what they get. They had to be tweaking. I don't even understand. I don't even understand how that shit is attractive to you. Oh my god! It's like yeah, I ain't just, with just you. let's come to the conclusion that hey, it's I don't know. Every <laughs> just, time I come over here, it's I gotta, gotta been like since a high school type relationship. They've been getting it for so long. It's just like why not? Because that shit is insane. Every time I come over here, I'll, I'm always into some shit with you. I can't come over here. It's not worth it. And I ain't going to lie. The the ones we hearing right now, buddy ass probably on steroids. And oh, for sure. And some shit. This motherfucker got them 20-inch biceps. <laughs> Pythons. That nigga just look like he can't control uh, his own. I don't fuck. know what's going on. So, I have my little brother. At the time, yes, I know. Allegedly speaking, the little brother happens to be, like, if I'm 18, little brother's... 15 right Which yes it's, But there's fucking now 12 year olds Doing way worse shit mm-hmm. So I went like I was the bad example Right I didn't let him smoke At the time I wasn't letting him smoke And then eventually I started to let him smoke My, my shit though And kids grow up Faster in urban areas Oh for sure honest. Like You know what I'm saying like, You exposed to way more Shit that you shouldn't Be exposed to Yeah. We so could, by the time You hit in high school And 14 Like you probably know I know you know somebody And I know I definitely know a couple People who was just Out there living like that Some some street niggas, oh, yeah. and you find out like, oh, buddy, thirteen. Exactly. He what? Exactly. Yeah, he, he yeah, he looks and, out of, like, it looks and demeanor and everything. Like, I got a little brother, right? 
I'm not to get off topic, but my little brother, like, eight. You would think he was 15. The way he talked. But then he can go be a kid, too. He could flip the script real quick and go turn on. Like, you playing with little white kids right now? When the hell you start playing? Like, what the fuck? You play? You don't got toys. Like, he'll, he'll randomly flip the script and start being a kid. But it'd be funny because he'd be kicking with us the whole time. And he, you'll think his ass grown playing Fortnite and all this shit. Spazzing on motherfuckers. Talking shit. Getting in trouble at school, but as soon as he get around another little kid acting like a kid, he gonna be but a kid. At least he could turn it off. Some people don't <laughs> understand. They supposed to, they gotta lay low, yeah. play slow sometimes. Ex- exactly. Like you gotta. Learn. I used to be the same way with my cousins. I was, cur- I, I honestly don't remember a life where I wasn't cursing. As long as young as I oh, can yeah. remember, I was fluently cursing and doing all that shit, I had to. talking crazy with my cousins and all that. But when I get to school or get around my mom, grandmother, any of them, to this day, my mom has only heard me curse by accident. For real? I swear. I, Ooh, I said shit like on the phone one time and I was like, she said, like, yeah, yeah, she kept talking. She said, I heard that by the way. I'm like, fuck. But either way, I mean, she ain't going to do nothing to me. Like, what the fuck? I pay taxes. But regardless, like, that shit just feel weird. So when I used to see the ones that was, they was wild in school and then wild when their parents picked them up, I'm like, damn, nigga, like, what's up with, what's, what's up with him? This is crazy. Hey, why you want everybody to know you just this terrible? Mm-hmm. I can at least keep it on the low. Exactly. Shit. My my ass then I mean I cussed her on, I got a white mom But y'all Now hold on hold on Now I won't say like Cause my mama gonna watch this Now she not the ordinary white mom She has mixed children And not even the fact that Like she just messed around With a black dude And just happened to have Mixed children Like no she is You know what I'm saying she, We living in the projects You know what I'm saying my mom, Think of I, your hood I, white I grew, lady Exactly with the, with the short haircut Like you could look at mm-hmm. it Until she got short uh, well, she ain't And got all short, the kids but, bad as fuck Yeah silver they just caps don't, and all None that, of them but, All of them are just so angry bro, I seen my mama fight So many times growing up I seen my mama and fight one person. It was a nigga crazy. too. Ooh. He swung on her. My mama hit my dad with a brick. Nah, it was just a random cab driver. He swung on her. She weeded it, it, two pieces. Ah. And I was like, yo, what, I'm trying to get out the car. My sister was like tripping, started crying. Like, what's going on? My grandmother ran out the corner store because she was playing live and talking about chasing. They started, we started chasing the nigga, which was crazy. But he drove past our house, so she was like, "Once we got to our house, we was like, all right, we ain't yeah, go no need to proceed. We at our destination." But I ain't gonna lie. He, she said, he called us stupid. He, she called him stupid. She was like, "Yo, stupid ass." She's like, "Call me stupid one more time." You are, Yo, you know. stupid. And then that's he, when he get he disrespectful. Back, yeah, when he, he take when that he break. Threw that shit. She went like this. One, two. I'm like, oh shit! Let me out. Because ah! you know when you were a kid, especially like. Like the the boys, you sitting all the way in the back, back because now you got your home shit mm-hmm. in the back. I'm stuck, like I can't jump over. She car seat in the middle. Uh, somebody I forgot who was to the right. My cousin and my sister. I was stuck, but my, apparently my mom didn't need my help, and I was like, what nine? But yeah, the hood white lady that was his mama. The kid with the silver caps and like they always had like toy guns and shit. That was him. Yeah, for sure. Like it'd be, it'd be funny. Like I'll be like I'll talk to mom. And we from like we from Florida too, so that's more southern too. So it's already kind of got it like the southernness to it. But plus five aggression, all them light skinned <laughs> kids I was just talking oh about. God. Plus five aggression. That's yeah. Florida. That's that, alligator uh, oxygen. Oh God, that's them. That's that Zephyr Hills. So shout out to my Florida people. You know what the hell I'm talking that's about? That water is Zephyr Hills. I know a little something because yeah, they yeah, they got it like the Georgia and South Carolina I too. I think because I remember I was uh, I drove through Georgia or South Carolina one too, and I had just got in there and I was like, damn, I'm thirsty. Let me stop by the gas station. Boom, let me shop. I'm like, oh, hold on. Let me see if they got it. I look. I said, it's crazy. Everybody I seen got Zephyr Hills. Shit. I seen the Zephyr Hills. And I'm like, ooh, shit, I got to get it. And the dude, he says, you from Florida? I said, yeah. He said, y'all always get this water when from y'all come top, in here. It's uh, from New York. It's Poland Spring. Like the DMV area, Deer Park. And you get to the south. Yeah, Deer Park. I, that, that's new yeah. to me. Yeah, Deer Park. Is, it's an older one. I think it's the same shit as Poland Spring. It's, it might of, it be know, a different label. A lot of, if you the read them shit. things where they come from, a lot of them be the same. Like they come from the same lake or whatever, the same facility. Oh, yeah, they just really repackage. Does. Yep. And like, damn. Like all the Pepsi products, all the Coke products, and all that shit. What? Who on Aquafina? Coca Cola? No, Coca Cola. They got Dasani. water too. They got the Sunny. That's what they got. Of course. That's why that Dirt. shit. That's how, I was about to say. That's why that shit tastes salty way ass water. That's the problem with it. Got that's the water. That's the water that they fucking break down all the soda, like the leftover soda, or whatever the hell. They just break it down and separate the water, the and reason, that's the water we get. The design. The reason why Dasani has such a bad rap is because apparently it has salt in it to make you dry out, so you can drink more water. I heard a lot of them got like a lot of drinks got the magnesium in them too. 
Damn, that's and it, it's terrible. Po- it's, <laughs> no, 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 terrible. bro. We can get up and grab a bottle of water. They, they a lot of drinks and soda. In it, they always they put like magnesium in them, and it's supposed to make you more thirsty. Like you get hydrated from you get hydrated yeah. from drinking it, but the feeling is you're getting thirstier. Which I also heard with food. Like we used to go to like uh, food places, like buffets, and they told us that they put fillers in the food, so like you would get full faster, so you wouldn't get your money's worth mm. because you would be full. So that's how they capitalize it. Because I always and like I was like, I believed it. Shit. I believed it. Like I, as a kid, I, I believed believe that. Shit. I don't really, I don't honestly. ever be really hungry at buffets. Yeah. Never in my life. I'd be expecting, like, I'm going to go over there and play. I said, well, I'm going to get this, this, three plates. Man, I'll get, get, like, one big plate, and I'm good. But to be fair, my appetite has never been what it what I always thought it was. Like, in my head, I'm like, oh, I'd eat this, this, this. And then i eat, like, one or two pieces of something on the plate. And I'm like, fuck, bro. Anything after this, I'm not going to like the way I feel for the rest of the day. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be so full and shit. Yeah, that's the worst. I just thing. eat a couple. Like, when I get steaks and shit from restaurants, I'm not eating that whole shit there. Unless something, something crazy happened before. Like I'm been, That's what, I game plan Like I hate going to like Eat like sporadically Like if you was like Hey let's go get McDonald's I'd be like nah. You know what I'm saying Like nah But if, if it's like a plan Like hey tomorrow We gonna go to eat I'm like I could plan Like I know that morning Or whatever I'm not gonna eat Cause I'll be struggling To eat in the morning Like this morning I ate some fucking eggs And I was struggling To eat that shit I put that shit back I said I can't even Eat this shit I ate like uh, one egg and was It full. just depends on how I am. Sometimes I be in the mood To eat shit I mean don't get me wrong I'm still built Like a brick shit house you know But I, uh, Sometimes I just don't I don't feel like Eating as bad as it sounds it's just, and it's not even like I gotta smoke first. It's not even that because I smoke and forget I'm supposed to be eating anyway. I'm not even that hungry for real. But I think what comes along with it, I eat a lot of snacks, especially when I go like to snack? work. When I go to work, you, I snack a lot. What are you eating? Like chips, uh, peanuts, and shit like that. Like the no, like chips and fucking candy or some shit. Oh, um, if I'm at work, because at work like, I'm just sitting there and I'm kind of bored. But if I'm at the crib or something. If I got food Ooh. in the freezer, I'll, I'll make some of that shit, but not I, until the time just in there smoking. I think I asked you what your go-to, like, meal was or some shit, but I don't think I asked you, like, what your go-to snack was. It depends on, because sometimes... Um, well, it depends on what you consider a snack, my snack though, I guess. The snack Because to be me, like, cereal is a snack, but it can also yeah, be a meal. Cereal. I mean, that's yeah, shit, like, the two for one. Yeah. That shit, like, the two for one right if now. Because it depends on what's been going on. Like, sometimes you be in the mood for, like, some dry shit. Which would be like the, your chips and your um, legumes, such as like almonds and all that other shit. <laughs> I'm about to say, what the fuck? Please elaborate. I remember, I remember, I remember that When you say lagoon, I was thinking of a L-E-G-U-N. fucking pasta. I was thinking that shit sound like a Ain't pasta. That's that shit for the same tree. Pasta, pasta's a legume, right? Or is that like a I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that shit. I know it's a car, but I thought, well, I know fucking um, peanuts and shit like that. Peanuts and beans. Beans and shit, they supposed to be legumes or something. It was like... Uh, I, th- I, re- I think I remember that. You remember some that, healthy uh, shit. That's the, some the healthy- food pyramid from school? Yeah. It was somewhere oh, on there. I'm pretty sure. Like the, categor- the category is legumes yeah. or... I fuck around and eat chips or one of them shits. Or, but if I want some sweet shit, Paul, it would be like uh, some something with chocolate in it or some gummy bear type shit. I don't really eat the sour shit no more. I used to be one of them niggas. Though. I should have had my jaws just like I used to McDonald's be Sprite, just like locked up. Sour, like everything, all the candy and shit. That I I used to be the kid that would eat the lemon off the plate and just want like fucking um sour gum after. What's like your just, one day it just switched up? What's your favorite like sour candy then, or what's right. your favorite sour candy? Bubblicious. Yep. Inked or was it Hubba Bubba inked? It was one of the two. No homo. I know the both of them. Bubblicious and like when you bite into the gum, it tastes like candy off rip. Like I would it, swallow Bubblicious. Like I would got, chew it twice and swallow it. It got like, for lack of better words, it got this fluid inside. And, and, yeah, yeah, I know. And it I know. Shoots out when you bite into. I'm it. pretty sure that's what my, I'm it's gonna, called inked. I'm pretty it, sure that's what my little brother used to get. And it was sour on the inside. There was only one store near me. It was like ten blocks away. I'm, I used to walk to that store and go get it. I ain't give a fuck. My little brother stayed fuck with the Hubba Bubba Bubblicious. I couldn't fuck with him. I stopped fucking with him because I would. They, that like, only one. I would go to chewing them, and it's like I'm chewing like damn shit. So damn like I'm not even gonna say the yeah, word. Yeah, it was very flavorful. Yeah, and I'm just like very I would just like gum. I would chew it up. It would become less solid, more. Remember the tape? Yeah. Remember the tape? That, that was, shit was ashy as hell. What, ashy. I don't know what Why the idea was behind that. Why was it chalky like that? Was that like to preserve probably, it? Probably so they don't get like warm and stick to Ooh, each other. Like preserving shit. it? Because if you ever got one of them shits like hot or something in the car, that shit just become one bug. That don't stop shit. Like if it's just what? I just bite up people. Oh, God. I don't give a fuck. That shit. Damn. They, they, had, a, they had a sour one too. She leave. Somebody leaving. They carrying a suitcase. Mm-hmm. Look, look, look. Yeah, so, but, uh, 
They had a sour Hubba Bubba tip. That was the one I used to go for. My sister would get like the pink. It was yellow one. Yeah, the yellow one, right? The, it was a green one. Green, they had a green. I think That's they had a I blue one too. I, I'm sure they did. Blue, green, yellow. Like all the primary used to colors. be the sour. And the uh, what was it? The warheads. I used to fuck with those. Ooh, them shits are how you damn top of your tongue. I. That's what the thing about sour candy. I fuck with sour candy. But it, why does it leave? Like, that should leave you. Like, that should have fucked your mouth up. It would take, like, a, whatever spot you was primarily eating the fucking candy, it would take the whole, that whole patch of fucking taste buds out for at least a couple of days. You got to regenerate them shits. And I just used to like that shit. But one day, it just switched off. I stopped liking cranberry juice. Yeah, I was like, this shit too sour. Mm-hmm. All this shit. Until one day in high school, I just started fucking with it again. Yeah. Not the sour candy. I'm done with that shit. But the yeah. uh, cranberry juice. Every now and I eat like some sour gum worms. I think my favorite sour candy would be like uh, I used to fuck with them. Um, I- I'll say sour gummy worms, but I like the uh, it's this lifesavers. It's the lifesavers, but they had mm-hmm. a sour version. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Uh, it has, like, that's the thing. I don't really. That's I don't like the. If it was sour candy inside the regular shit, I don't like the little. The sugar shit's on the actual candy. Yeah, that's, that's the, the shit that be bothering me. But if it was sour on the inside, I could probably fuck with it. Mm-hmm. I think well, my go-to snack overall, I think I already said it's cereal. I think. And I'm just going to put some. Or Pop-Tart. Cause I, I guess I died, technically dodged the question for the last couple of episodes. It would be like, if I was going candy, it would be gummy bears or M&M's. If we was going chips, cheese doodles in the red bag. We going cereal, cinnamon toast crunch, or cocoa puffs before Michelle Obama. Damn, she did fuck up all that shit. I'm standing on that. Never forgive you for that one. Yeah, if you know, you know. Fuck schools up. We <laughs> went from know, can, a, ven- a real vending machine to ice. Bro. That was the name of the sparkling water, ice. It, it just, had an orange one, a mango one. It just never Nasty. made. Wait, they had sparkling soda? It was sparkling water. But they sparkling just water? Oh, spark- soda's already sparkling. Just like, not even, because so- that was the main point of getting it out. No sodas or no juices and shit like that. Yeah. That wasn't, like, th- 100% natural. I think the only thing we had was, like, Powerade. But it was it was Powerade Zero, Powerade shit, Zero yeah. and it was always sold out. Because it was the only thing that, like, had yeah. taste to it. Actually, maybe that's what and it was. And the best snack would be the Welch's, uh, like, in the snack machines. Mm-hmm. It was the Welch's. But that was it. Everything you else was You know what's crazy? Trash. They took our snack machine. And they took the Welch's eventually made like some generic ass brand. My, my Georgia High School, they took the snack machine. They took the snack machine, left the drink. No, they took the snack machine, took the drink machine, brought back the new drink machine with all the healthy shit in there. And niggas were still drinking that because it was like, well, at least the mango one kind of tastes like, like some uh, actual good juice. And they took the mango one out and then they brought the true moo in. And all that shit. I'm like, man, ain't nobody eating or drinking this shit. Then the food got crazier and crazier. That shit over with. I remember Bro. being, when I was little, food, school food used to be good. Now, well, not now. I don't know how the fuck it tastes now. But when I was in high school, I was like, oh, damn. Michelle, my little, my little sister don't even eat school lunch. But I think because she picky. I think, I think she picky, though. And they, they, they advertised it to us as if that was a bad thing growing up. Being picky with your food isn't a bad thing. It's actually kind of... Everybody got a different palate. If I don't like that shit, I'm not eating that shit. Like, if it's a white fluid on the food, I'm not eating it. Yeah, that shit is I'm not eating it. And no one can make me... When I was younger, they would try to be like, just eat it. No. I'm not... That shit look crazy. So, I can't tell somebody, like, bro, just eat your food. Or or you tell, like, your sister, you can't just tell, like, yo, just eat your food. Because you know... Yeah, that shit probably just everybody got that one shit thing now. Everything, got, oh my! Hey, shout out to hey, shout out to my Hispanic homies, man. Uh-oh. I tried, man. Uh, uh, I'm about to fuck it up. I don't remember. It's uh, y'all probably y'all gonna get it as soon as I say it, but uh, men menudo menudo menudo. That shit so nasty. If y'all eat it, y'all tough. Y'all built different. Is that but. the soup? The cow tongue soup? Uh, I don't, I think it was like intestines. I think it's like, but it's the soup. Yeah, it might be tongue, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's like intestines. Mexican shitlings. When you Hell no! If I'm not I, eating the fish fish imagine so for my fish fishers, so my fishers out there, imagine it looked like bread. You know when bread sits in water and it kind of gets all weird looking, but it had the consistency of like That's liver. Tripe. That's cow tripe, Ugh. and it, it kind of looked like a net type shit. Yeah, I ate that as a kid. That's just nasty. yeah. We ate that shit as oh a kid, my. bro. It tastes like I was eating ass. Like what? <laughs> 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 <It's> sick as <laughs> tripping. <laughs> 
<laughs> Mom sitting there eating that shit, bro. I was a like, bowl full of balloon and, nuts. And, and she said, she said, do you know? She said, do you know what it is? And she, she's told me. I said, yeah, uh, that's what I was thinking. I'm tasting. Yeah, that. I think it's, it's trite. It tastes like the, what I would assume the body has to digest and shit. I was, I like, was just shit. having that same. So shout out to y'all. I don't eat it no shit, more. But when I was a kid. I ain't gonna lie, I used to eat this shit. Like I had the the tongue, the lamb tongue or some shit. I can't do the tongue shit. Or cow tongue no, and like the tacos that. and shit like that. Oh, the bidia? Bi- yeah, bidia. Yeah, I had that. Is that cow tongue? I think that's what, no, that's goat. That's goat. That's goat. Yeah, yeah the cow tongue shit. I, had I never had it. Shout out to shout out to the in laws. I had bidia for the first time while I was in Cali. I my little brother it. just dissed that shit yeah. uh, last night. I ain't gonna lie. The reason why it's not nasty, I just don't like it as much because of a uh, that's a messy ass meal, dog. It's still like a soup or the soup is soup. I, I don't like the I don't I like if I like food, more solid foods. I, I'm food a solid. Usually food don't make eater. it back to the crib when I, I like get to be able food. To, I like, like I eat it in the whip. Oh, you yeah, can't yeah, you eat can't that eat in that the that whip. Well. And if you eating that and you don't fucking eat it, bring it to your mouth quick, punk. That shit gonna drop on your clothes. That shit is dead. Whatever the fuck you wearing is dead. And I am known. That's I'm known. You're not to getting spill that some up. Food on myself. You're not getting and that. I always up. like I'll spill some food on myself. Like anything this or ashing on myself or some shit. I always ash is cool. You can get ass, yeah. Up, but I just because I, I just washed my shirt that, in the no. sesh, and I, I was like, "Oh shit!" Or dude, curry? Oh my god! Curry. You, you get some I, curry I shit on you? You du- ever you never had, had curry? curry? I don't think so. Damn. As a grown up, so as a kid, I don't remember all the meals as a kid. But if it was one, it don't stick. It didn't stick out. You gotta try that. That's one. That's one. The curry is bro. That's like that's top three like meals. Gumbo? Is it like gumbo? For me, nah. Curry is just like a seasoning and a way of making different shit, like curry goat curry. Yeah, because I heard of curry chicken, and it comes yeah. with like. It usually goes with some sort of rice, like white rice or rice and peas or whatever. Okay. My mom might be watching. She'd be like, boy, you did have that shit. I'm like, well, I don't remember. Boy, why is you up there lying? You know, you know, Ro- oh, Kerry Goat. <laughs> uh, dude, I used to fucking, oh, bro. Like, like I always said, cereal was my favorite. Man, I remember one time me and my little brother, and this one, I, I just start kicking on my little brother, right? We high as hell. Mm-hmm. I let him go to a party with me, party fun and hell. We get chased by uh we get chased by the cops and shit like that. Like tune in Sunday for that story. Oh yeah, I'm I'm finna elaborate. I I know I didn't finish the other one and kind of got we we kind of just kept going. Like we would say something and get on to something else. So don't even worry. I'm not even gonna keep going. We not even gonna go back to that shit. Like I told y'all enough to just a spoiler. Alert, just come check out. Not spoiler. Alert, just a little intro. Come check out Deuce Farms. Going just go do a host. We gonna start doing story times on there. So I wanted that to be the first story. But so. That shit, I'm eating cereal, kicking with my brother, whatever. We first of the start of the night off, we get uh, we had the party. My brother smoking, right? I allowed him to smoke, and then like everybody, he the young, he the youngest one there. So well, I don't know if he was the youngest one there, but everybody just like off the strength of me and shit like that. They're like, oh shit, say his name, blah blah blah, huh? Do you know what I'm saying? They like everybody, Jamarcus. everybody trying to pass him a blunt, and I'm like, hold on, only people I'm cool, you know what I'm saying? Like, only people I trust. You're not mm-hmm. gonna just hit anybody blunt, but everybody give him a little brother high. I think he was drink. He already had a drink. He had some alcohol in a Gatorade bottle. That he put me on to that. My little brother put me on to... I, I wasn't When's big into When's the first alcohol. time you tasted alcohol, honestly? Like, all laws aside. Uh, allegedly and hypothetically. Metaphorically, too. Damn. In case. I'm, so, the first time I tasted it, and the first time I actually consumed it, like, wanting to consume myself, I was 10th grade when I actually got drunk. But the first time I tasted it, I was, like, a kid. Like, drink a beer for my dad or grandpa or some shit like Same. that. I was probably, like, or eight my, or nine. Yeah, yeah. No, I think I, it might have been my 10th grade. I was definitely grade, I was definitely grade school. Because I was always just, like, the... And I started I want strong. Some, I want some. Ooh, Sip just, the Guinness. Oh, nigga, I oh we tried died. Great Goose. We tried Great Goose one time. I forgot about that shit. I caught food, not food. I caught alcohol poisoning in high school because I tried to have. All right, so I had to stop smoking. How was that? I've never had it. Listen, Nick. <laughs> First that? of all, I never had got drunk before that. So imagine Ooh. how this went. You don't even know how it went to feel. Oh no, I you took an L. I took an L, dog. I was supposed to. All right, so I couldn't smoke no more because the yes. new job yeah. was coming up. So I had a girl at the time, and I'm like, "Well, shit, what do we do now?" Like that was when you were in high school. That's pretty much the main activity. You smoking? Yeah, chilling. yeah. Chilling. I'm like, oh, shit, and you can get drunk. Like, what we drunk? And she's like, "Oh, okay, but how I'm supposed to drive back home after I'm drinking?" I'm like, "Damn, that's a good point." Shit, let's just drink while we on Facetime tonight. See how uh, how we be feeling, and then we go from there. I wasn't gonna have a drink and drive, but I know if I was gonna get drunk, I would fell asleep, and then we need to you know, do our thing. And, Tomorrow So I start I pull me a little cup Hennessy that I stole From under uh, In the in the cabinet somewhere Full bottle of Hennessy Cracked it I'm in the room I take a shot She take A half a shot I'm like Oh this is nasty But I kept drinking this shit I'm like man Yeah it's nasty But we supposed to be like 
grown. You're supposed to be feeling it. Yeah. I'm talking about like three shots in. I'm starting to get lightheaded. Half my body, half, half my body hanging off the bed and shit. I'm like, uh, I think I wasn't. I wasn't fully drunk yet, but I was like, I know this is not how I usually feel. So something is uh, something's happening. I'm starting to like. I'm like, damn, bro, was I don't got what? no balance or nothing. This is crazy. So if you lay down, you was gonna be spinning type shit. I was laying down okay, with was, my head that, hanging that, off that, the that, bed. That's always like the good so like way to see uh, the yeah, scale nah. to see if you, so, you get laid down spinning. It's like, oh yeah, you, you because she didn't that. like she wasn't drinking like I was. I was actually drunk. So she was like, oh wait, are you drunk? I'm like, eh, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I feel a little something. I don't know. But I couldn't tell if I'm actually drunk. I just feel like feel I'm a little wavy. Yeah, you something. feel yeah. me? So I, somehow, at some time, I fell asleep. I woke up in the morning, dog, throwing up, head hurting, everything. Didn't drink no water, nothing. Drink after. no water. I probably barely ate. I wasn't even, it was high school. I wasn't even drinking water like that. Honestly. Kool Aid. Right? I'm drinking Kool Aid. Yes, dude, and shit. Definitely. When I get thirsty, I'm drinking Kool Aid like a yeah, dumbass. And so. rarely at that. So exactly. Like you drink maybe 16 ounces of fluid throughout the whole day. And mind you, I'm not smoking, I'm drinking. So instead of me getting the cotton mouth from smoking, or it would make me be like, oh, I got to drink some. I'm drinking this shit. I'm getting like dried up, but then I'm peeing a lot because of the drinking, but I'm not even thinking like, I'm thirsty. I'm just going to sip some more Hennessy. Mm-hmm. That's what I was doing or something. When I woke up there, I'm talking about throwing up there. My grandma, like, what's wrong? I'm like, I don't know. I can't tell her I've been drinking. I'm 17. I'm like, I don't know. Something's not right. I'm talking about they trying. They were like, we got to take you to the hospital. I'm like, no, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, we good. We good. You give me a few more Because they're going to do, do the that. pump and shit. They gonna not even the just that. They're going to check my blood alcohol level. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was like, hey, hold on, dog. I'm like, nah, what happened? I was hand sanitizer. So I just oh. kept using a bunch because my hands was just. That shit probably went through my pores. Came up with the dumbest fucking Remember, I have ever. a cut right here. <laughs> yeah. Shit, I was I was gone. Dog, I'm talking about out of the game. And after that was the first time I actually got somewhat drunk. But the real drunk was after, like when I had the job, like two years after. So that was 17. But my first time actually really being drunk was like 19. It was with the homies too. Yeah, I, I think mine. My, my hoes was there, unfortunately. <laughs> mine, mine was luckily with some ho- some hoes. Not everybody. Well, I won't say hoes. So <laughs> I won't say hoes because my my sister was there, but. Oh my God. <laughs> so my sister, my sister, a year younger than me, right? Uh, and we drinking. She was big. She she big in the alcohol, right? I wasn't big until I was, I'm smoking at the time. It's like tenth grade, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, the girl, you know, the girl that I'm uh, one of my one of my sister friends finna be at my sister's house, and I'm like, shit, for sure, I'm trying to come over. Y'all finna drink and shit, blah blah blah. I'm like, hell yeah. And I'm with my homeboy at the time, so he's like, yeah, I come over, blah blah blah, whole time. You know what I'm saying? Like him, him and my sister have been kicking and shit like that. So I was like, fuck it. Go over there and shit like that, chilling with them. It's us four. They got some uh, New Amsterdam. It was the peach one. It was the peach New Amsterdam. This is my first time like legit drinking. Like I'm like, dude, I don't even know what to expect. I've been high. Like I smoked. I don't do the. I don't do the alcohol. So we get to drinking, whatever, taking shot. That first, I'm like, oh, I'm like, yeah, it's not that bad. I'm like, I feel like I got throw up in my fucking. You know, I'm like, oh, like you know, what I'm saying, mm. but whatever. At the while, it was good. It was like water, but I was like, I wasn't drinking. I wasn't drinking any water, and I was like. And finally, we all chilled. After we finished that bottle, we was all just chilling. And this, this is my first time. I don't know how many. I took several shots, like, more than I nor- normally take now to get drunk. So I was, like, fucked up. And I just remember, like, walking, just like, woo woo, And I was like, shit. And I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm with a girl, so I'm trying to do something. You know what I'm saying? Trying to act like it's I'm t- something. I'm trying to. And they do this on the regular. My sister and her uh, and the other girl, they do this shit on the regular. So I'm just like, Damn, I'm, I'm, this shit beat me up. My homeboy, he did just that natural, funny, goofy. He dance, he dancing the pain off because he don't, he don't drink, he don't do no nothing. But he, so he dancing the pain off and shit like that. But I was just sitting there like, yeah. Duh. I just remember saying, oh shit, hold on, did I lock the car? I, well, first, hold on, we had some snacks. My mm-hmm. favorite bag of Doritos, the purple bag of Doritos. I go to snacking on them, and I ate like two of them things. They say, no, I said. The car unlocked. I said, let me go make sure. Literally, this is going to sound random as fuck. Every time, I probably only ate that bag of Doritos twice. Both times I've ever ate her, I got a, a migraine right after. Ooh, Swear to it's God. It's always just that with Tommy. So I don't, I don't know. I think it's the chips. I fuck with the something chips. Something not heavy. right. I fuck Every with time the chips I eat them, heavy. something happens. It might and just I, be the blends of the spices. It might be just a combination. I could have just had two bad bags. I ain't ate them. In, I mean, I have ate I'm them since childish. then. But that's my, that's my favorite bag. So I, like, I hold a grudge. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I'm be eating some of them. I'm fucking going to smack them on my hand. Like, oh, bro. Oh, bro, you know them not good for you, bro. Make your sperm count low. Oh, God. <laughs> like what they say about it do 
<laughs> yeah, bro. Now the dude used to be. Yeah. I used to, and I, I ain't hear it made your sperm count little, so that that's new to me. Or not your sperm count little. I heard it made your dick little or some shit. Like made your dick. That's usually what they say. Like they said it was worse than steroids. They so said that was like, Red Bull too. It's like yeah, you rather do steroids than Mountain Dew. Like Mountain Dew, crazy. That shit to shrink you up. I'm like, the, okay, just, as a kid, I'm scared of it. I go to Taco Bell anywhere. I look at Mountain Dew and avoid that shit. I did not drink Mountain. I don't think I drank Mountain Dew since then. So you know. Down south they have Fago, right? That's Fago, like a yeah, big yeah, brand. New York they have a brand. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you from New York? You know what I'm saying? In New York they have a brand called Tropical Fantasy. All type of different flavor sodas. But the thing was that they were cheap. You could get a full bottle of soda back in the day for fifty cent. Mm-hmm. Probably like a dollar now because you know a dollar cheap for soda or whatever yeah. seventy five maybe. But it used to be like fifty cent for a full bottle of soda. But for somehow, somewhere, the connotation came behind it. Those, if you drink those, you will stop producing sperm. Damn, again. You will stop producing sperm. So they officially started being called nutties. If you was drinking a nutty, you was a broke-ass nigga. You getting clowned. But, bro, 50 cent for a whole soda? They had every flavor you might have liked. Whatever flavor you wanted, they had it. And as a and you as a kid, right? So it's like, of as course, a kid, you were only walking around with maybe no. a dollar that you scraped up. Max. In New York, so like, New York culture is to go get a sandwich and something to drink from the store before you go wherever you're going, whether it's work, school, or whatever. If you get a sandwich for two fifty, you have three dollars. The only logical sense would it be to get that soda? Exactly. Would you believe I tell you, niggas would rather go get the Capri Sun. Cause the nigga gonna be like, you drinking a nutty, bro? Done. Like, you know you drinking a, you take, you drinking yeah, yeah, a nutty, yeah, yeah. bro? <laughs> you thought you was gonna get away with that. I've been mature all episode. Nah, nigga, time to pay the piper. You tripping. Uh, but nah, uh, yeah, you drinking a nutty? So it was, it was never worth it to drink them. It was terrible, but I ain't gonna lie. Some of them bitches, some of them bitches was all right. But they had the shit. same, but I think it's still like that. Nah, I don't think nutty, like the tropical fantasy shit will ever like skip that. It's always gonna be birth control. Yeah, I don't. I just remember Mountain Dew. I can't think of any anything else. I remember that like saying I'm all jacked up off Mountain Dew. I think that was off like Teledega Nights or some shit. One of the kids said that. I, yeah, I know Mountain Dew for sure. It was something. They also said that you're not supposed to put a laptop on your lap. I yeah, I heard I, that. I, shit. I, yeah, I, I listened I to that. that. Yeah, I, I, I catch myself it. doing it sometimes if I'm not on a desk or some shit. But I was like, oh shit, you right. And I'm moving to like my knees or some shit, but I don't know. But I don't want to find out. I expected like when I when I saw that shit for the first time, I'm thinking like you got the laptop on your lap. As soon as you take that out, you stand up. All your nuts is gonna drip out. You done. <laughs> no gives these vaccines you love. Hell, off the recent logic I heard, the motherfucker, the uh, what was it? Damn, I don't even. Know. That shit don't even got nothing to do with that. Hey, fuck it. We almost done anyway. You might as well hit him with a curveball. They still talk about that, but it was talking about the uh, the no jumper shit with the piss. Cause you st- we st- we start talking about the uh, the balls and shit like that. Pause, but you start talking about the uh, the shit leaking or whatever like that. I was like, oh shit, like the piss or some shit. Cause they say like yo piss is stored in your balls, which ain't true. It just who said that? <laughs> Adam fucking twenty two. Your piece that no way. The nigga who almost forty. Him pee in your balls. It was either him and AD or him and somebody else, but they both said that. Shit. I don't even think that was like a myth that I heard. It was him and Yuri. It was him. My my AD. It was him and Yuri said that shit. Piss in your balls. Yeah, they was ex- like it, it's the way they was explaining it was like saying it, it is st- like if you got stabbed in the nuts right now, that shit just gonna leak out piss. But what it is is like I think it, it, it travels through crazy. it. That's where it comes. Like it goes because it it's goes in your ball. Your, it's your, in your, your bladder. Shit. It's in your bladder. Like that's, that's your why bladder, come, bro. And then it comes from there, and it may travel through your balls to get to the the final. If destination. you're watching, if you're watching right now, share. Sh- sh- it. <laughs> yeah, but this sh- tell a friend to tell a friend. There's no pee in your balls. You, if that was the case, when you had to pee, your balls would expand. To as much urine that's supposed to be in your bladder. Why do you think you have a bladder? If we just gonna pee from our balls. And then the person who said that apparently, I just want you to know he's around like forty. So, you know what I'm saying. Shout out to Adam though. Hey, it sound like it's about that time. Hey, like, comment, subscribe, y'all sticking with us. Push no- post notifications. Do some farms. Watch that last live video. Watch the one on Sunday. Um, TikTok. Bro, I was about to tell you, bro, it's Sunday right now. <laughs>
I got us Tuesday. Yeah, no, no. Uh, TikTok. What else we got? Sure. We too. Yeah, we too. Not that. We t- it ain't that big, so I, I I I do drop some of the bigger stuff on there as well, just to like reiterate it. But it, it's just like one of the things that ain't that big. But I still do drop it on there because I know there is people on there. Deuce of farms, deuce of gums, deuce of desert. That's it. Deuce of signing out. Make sure you so cold.